Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com. Hope you like the new intro. I know it's been a couple of weeks, uh, but I thought I'd do a really cool tutorial on disk drill, which is going to help you get back corrupted or even formatted cards. So let's give you a tutorial and there's special prizes at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to record the slate mic here and a few other inputs just quickly so you can see that this is the file this one take three that I'm going to try and find now we're going to format this by going to focus formatted dun 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 oh no it's lost forever now we don't have anything left so let's go find it on the computer so here we are at my Mac. I've put in the SD card and it's shown up as 688 because I formatted it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another one. I did one earlier, but let's, it'll just say recover usually. And now it'll start searching. Now I know um, how it finds things is it finds the most recent ones, which is actually quite handy. So it finds the most recent ones first and then works its way back. Essentially all deleted files are, are there uh, essentially data within a certain block. So there's uh, 62 million blocks within this 32 gig card. And what happens is the blocks fill up with information and then when you delete it or format a card, all it does is just wipe a kind of directory point that tells you where the data is. So this program is quite clever because it's able to essentially reconstruct those. So I know that it finds uh, the latest ones first and we can use this preview function as it finds stuff. So you can hear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record slate mic here and a few other inputs. Just quickly so you can see that this is so we know that this is the file that we want. Now we could obviously scan the whole card and then you can export the whole card or do whatever you like. Oh, continue, wait. Um so we're going to go in, going to go audio, and we're going to save the first one. Um, recover it. Ta-da, recovered. We just created a new thing, folder, wav. Now, if you had lots and lots of files, because it would obviously go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to however many files you had, can get very confusing. So download Wave Agent for free, and actually all your metadata that you put in will essentially be saved. So look, we can see that it's this one, um, take three, which is the one I was looking for. And it'll give you um, how many channels it was, the length, the date, um, and any notes that you've put in, entered, either with sound devices or anything else, what track names, all this good stuff. This is also really useful uh, just for general uh, sound reports. I've done a video on this one already if you wanted to check that out. So essentially now we've found the file. And just to play it again. So, just to kind of recap, I guess, it's just very important that if you do accidentally format a card, not to keep recording onto that card, because what will happen is these blocks of data will essentially get used again and then written over, and then you can get mishmash of all sorts of crazy files that don't go very well together. So, all that's left to do is just click this link and then you can get it through an affiliate link and then I get a little bit of money for essentially helping you out. So, if you like this video, you can always click thumbs up and of course you can always subscribe, you can always leave comments down below and actually tomorrow, I think I might be able to do a giveaway of Distrill. So, share this up and uh, we'll see what happens.